Our Albertsons shoppers donate to Goodwill because it's convenient and they always get a receipt. I donate to Goodwill because Goodwill keeps things like computers out of our landfills. I donate to Goodwill because Goodwill turns gently used goods into jobs for people in our community. I donate to Goodwill because when I give Southern Nevada benefits. Donate. Donate. It's easy to donate. Shop and donate today. Pahrump's Goodwill is located in the former Ace Hardware Building. News 46 is brought to you by Comfort Hospice Care, where we give our patients and their loved ones peace of mind, knowing we provide the highest quality of care 24 hours a day, seven days a week. For more information, call 751-0349. News is also brought to you by RV Superstore. We do what other dealers won't. Provide a three-month warranty on all used travel trailers and motorhomes, 2,000 and newer. Call 775-727-7600 today. News is also brought to you by Inspiration Senior Living, where we provide affordable elegance to Pahrump area seniors. Give us a call at 751-2300 and make an appointment to tour our community. Tonight on News 46, the town board decides to postpone a decision. Up close and personal with Marta Beckett. A student improv group performs at Pahrump Valley High School on Saturday. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell and Jason Kodlitz. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening. It's Thursday, February 13th, 2014. I'm Deanne O'Donnell. And I'm Rhonda Van Winkle in for Jason Koblenz. The town board decided to postpone an agenda item and ordered staff to research some previous board's decisions regarding the de-annexation of a property on South Homestead Road to allow a proposed brothel to legally operate outside the town limits as permitted by law. And I appreciate that, and um, and I and agree. I, you know, reading the current law, I don't think we have the authority to annex or de-annex anything at, the, at the, the way the current law is written. But I think for us to be able to make a clear and concise decision, we should we should see these these documents um, to be brought for us, and then um, at that point in time, if if staff and council uh, feels that there could be potential litigation from there on forward, then. Uh, he News 46 was contacted by Alexandria Delgado. She's the wife of the convicted local Alex Delgado who is serving one year in jail for battery. Alexandria wanted to inform the public that the accusations regarding the alleged improper behavior that Alex is being accused of did not occur at the Delgado's mental health facility. She added that the person who is accusing Alex of the occurrence is not an employee of the Delgado's. The event was in a local psychiatric clinic, namely Dr. Zedek's office. Alexandria had no knowledge of the event, nor was she involved in any way. A two-vehicle accident occurred on Highway 372 near Red Butte last night. Tonight's accident report is brought to you by Stovall & Associates. Don't expect insurance companies to have your best interest in mind. Stovall & Associates cares. Let us help you if you have been involved in an accident. A two-vehicle accident occurred last night on westbound Highway 372 near Red Butte Street. Traffic was blocked by Nevada Highway Patrol, Pahrump Valley Fire Rescue, and Nye County Sheriff's deputies tended to the accident victims. One woman from the pickup truck was transported to local medical facilities. No one inside the sedan claimed any injury at the time of the accident. Nevada Highway Patrol is investigating. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. Much more local news when News 46 returns. This portion of the news is brought to you by Albertsons. You're in for something fresh. Welcome back to News 46. Well, News 46 met with the legendary Marta Beckett from the Amargosa Opera House. 
Marta will be celebrating her 90th birthday in August. She granted Deanna O'Donnell an exclusive interview in part one with the beloved performer. Built in 1924, Death Valley Junction and Amargosa Opera House has the same birth date as Marta Beckett, the ballerina who's been gracing this stage for 45 years. We spoke to Marta today on a one-on-one -on -one interview, which her assistant Rhonda says is perhaps her last. Yeah, I composed them. You wrote them all? I wrote them all. I wouldn't think of writing somebody else's. Your performances, do you write them too as well, the whole show? The whole show I write. Do you perform with anybody else on stage? I did for 12 years with Will Good. That was my partner at that time. He had been a maintenance man for Death Valley Junction at the time my husband left. And he could do a lot of funny things, like dance with a broom. I thought if he could do that on stage, I'd have it made. And there I was, at a loss what to do. I had no partner because my husband left. I put Wilgett in a show called The Second Mortgage, which was a melodrama. Your husband uh, left. Do you speak to him anymore? He died. Children? No. Let's talk about when you were a kid. What age did you start performing at? Too late, against my mother's will. How old? Fourteen. Fourteen. Fourteen is late, right, for a ballerina? It is. Tell me about those days when you, well, obviously you wanted to do it a lot sooner, and tell me about your childhood. I lived in Greenwich Village. I finally got a scholarship with a dance teacher named Gluck Sandor. I studied with him two and a half to three years. And discovered something was going wrong with my left knee. So I looked around for another teacher, which was not scholarship, against my mother's will. What's your first performances? What did I do? Mm -hmm. I danced to Chopin, Tchaikovsky. Did you have brothers or sisters? No, I didn't. What's some of your performances or some composers that you most like? Well, <clears throat> at the time I most liked to perform to Chopin, Tchaikovsky, and Alban Berg string quartet. I did a piece called Gossip, which got to be very popular. I've, I've seen that you performed in many companies with other uh, performers. Tell me some that uh, really stand out to you. Well, my first performance was in a nightclub, which my mother approved of because I was going to start making money. The Hula Hut was the name of my first. Then from that I graduated to the Corps de Ballet at Radio City. Wow. And that was difficult because I was a very creative dancer. I like creating my own dances. But at the music hall I had to do what I was told. So I conformed to that. Mm -hmm. Then I was in the Broadway production of Showboat. And here's Dr. Erica Smith to explain some changes happening now at Five Star Dentistry. Oh my gosh, it's just been very amazing. It's a new launch into a new year and the new name is called I Smile Forever. And so I am very excited, my staff is very excited. It's a bigger vision, it's a new direction. And it's definitely going to put us on the map in terms of things that we're doing in the community. You know, I've always been a trailblazer in this community, so we're going to keep doing those great things. The two Fairy is absolutely staying. We're doing some new things here in the office, things that we'll be able to offer our patients. First of all, our in-house financing. 
is just amazing. So as long as you have a checking account and a job, we can help you get the financing you need. So there, we're, we're taking away those obstacles of patients not able to afford their dental care. And basically access to care is very important as we know. It kind of streamlines it, makes it easier for people. You're not going to be turning them away, but you also accept all types of insurances too as well. Yes, I accept all insurances, including Medicaid. So I know a lot of people are now getting on the Medicaid program. We can absolutely see you. For it. Starting in February is the big launch of the new name. And with that being said, we're also launching I Smile Perks. So, you know, come in and we can definitely give you all the information and tell you how you can start earning rewards. Yes. You work with children and adults. I do, and I want to make sure people know that because I get those questions all the time. I work with children, adults, seniors. I work with anybody, really. <laughs> For more information, they can give you a call. What's the phone number? 775-629-4000. And what's the address here? It is 1430 East Calvada Boulevard, Suite 300. Thank you so much. You're so very welcome. Yeah. Great job. You know, she's locally known as the Tooth Fairy. Yes, she is. Yes. She's and I love very your likeable. Yes, she is. And I love your interview with Marta Beckett. Yeah. That's a privilege, really. Yeah. It is. Really. It was a few months in the making because uh, we had some cancellations. She's um, had some health up and down, you know. Mm -hmm. and, 90. And, uh, wow. Yeah. But celebrating her 90th soon. That's hey. crazy. <laughs> it's so weird because the Amargosa Opera House was actually built in the same year that she was born. Wow. Yeah. Celebrating 92. It's been a long time. I haven't seen her in a long time. I interviewed her in 1998. Yeah, see? So it's been a while, but great interview. Congratulations on that. Yeah, you have some good footage of that. Maybe we'll be stealing it and showing Sounds people that. Sounds good. Too. We'll see you when we get back from break.